Hi. So today I am doing a quick devlog here. I wanted to show just what I am working on right now. Let's see, I'll just start the project here quick. So the last, well, it's been going on for a few months actually, though it's been more of a side project at first. I'm uh, spending a bit more time on this right now. I'm working on a mobile format project where I am trying to make a new game that is based on the classic 15 puzzle game. So most people probably are aware of this game, so it's pretty simple. You try to get these number in order from 1 to 15. And if you get them all in order, you win. And as most apps out there really that do this kind of thing, I just have a little move counter and I'm measuring the time. Just so people can compare just how well they did. So yeah, it pretty much continues like this. You try to, uh, you try to sort everything. If you know how to sort them, it's pretty easy. So at that point you can actually start uh, looking more into how fast you are. Whereas uh, for new people it can be a bit of a challenge to figure out all of the different combinations. That said, this game has been around for a while and yeah, I want to see what I could make based on it. So I'm gonna quit this thing and go into my own mode. I, uh, well, started out on this. So essentially what I did was I swapped out the numbers for different kinds of tiles. So currently what we have here is a lake tile. The art is placeholder, don't worry about that. And we have some trees. They grow if they're near water, they die if they're away from water. After a while, we have a little bar here showing when the next game take happens. Now let's see, I'm gonna let this grow here because this here is the winning tile. If something goes on here, if a tree grows on this, we win. We win. Easy. If there are several of these winning tiles, all of them need to have trees on them. I think level 2 had an example. Nope, nope, let's, let's go. I don't actually remember which of these levels are functional right now because they aren't all... I changed the win condition originally, there wasn't a win condition. This one has two places that need trees on them. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go from here. I'm just going over here for a moment. Because these here are river tiles. If they are next to a lake, they fill up with water. And then trees can grow next to those as well. Trees only grow if there are also trees nearby, so uh, water without any trees isn't gonna grow anything. I added a little map border to allow me to have gaps in the map, so um, this border is generated at runtime. So at this point this map would actually finish itself because the water is just gonna keep spreading to here and there and here. I guess I'll just speed this up. And with that the level finished because all three of the tiles now have trees on them. So that's the general structure. Obviously this level is not really gameplay ready. Like it's pretty slow and tedious to just wait for this to run out. Uh, these levels are mostly just for testing because I wanted to see what kind of levels I can do. And yeah, all of the others currently aren't really playable because there are no winning tiles in here. I was just experimenting with some different layouts here when this uh, win condition wasn't in the game yet. 
So it just thinks I win as soon as the first thing runs out because it uh, recognizes that trees have grown, but there is no winning tile left that doesn't have a tree on it. Simple, really. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Let's see, do I have anything right? The um, This tile is two things at once, really. There's a, it's a winning tile that's shown by the yellowish border around it, but it also isn't movable. If I click on this, nothing happens. This here is also not movable, but it's not a winning tile, so it only has the four dots. I can't... I can't do anything, but I can click everywhere else. And that's pretty much how the mechanics work right now. I will be uh, putting some more work into designing some extra levels with this within the next few days. And then trying to uh, get some feedback. I need to see how it plays and what I can change to make it better. That will be all for today. Bye.